so we made it to Coop Place. Of course, the first meal of this whole trip, we had to have jambalaya, and it is incredible, man. This food is gonna save us. So I'm gonna do a little taste test right here. You know, walk you guys through our whole freaking New Orleans food tour. Hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm going to. So I'm here at Coop's place. Of course, I had to try the jambalaya. And I just had to eat an AGI for the first taste, you know. So we can really see my first uh, kind of reaction to this. Oh my god. This is incredible. Like, the spices and. Oh man. This has shrimp. Man, all kinds of little meats. Oh, this is great. You gotta try the jambalaya here, man. Alright, just got our late night fried chicken from Willie's. Man, we're the last people in there, man. So, lucky we got this. We're gonna taste test it, I hope. Alright, just made it back home. Of course, a late night snack. Willie's fried chicken, man. So, we had to, had to have some Louisiana fried chicken. Of course, if you're up late, this is a perfect snack. So, gotta have it. The famous Cafe Dumont finally got our beignets. Look at this. Had to wait a whole hour on that long line. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're gonna see if it's actually worth it. They're only like 375 for like three of them, so it's a pretty good deal. Coffee's pretty good too, I hear. So I mean, if you're here, you definitely gotta try it out. So cheers. Flaky, little deliciousness. Fried pastry, yeah. Not a bad breakfast. So we got a little hungry. We stopped at the Central Grocery for uh, some Hufalettos. Awesome lunch right around the corner uh, from uh, Cafe Dumont. So, in the area, gonna try this sandwich. It's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, just got our Mufaletta. I'll just take a bite, see how this tastes. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. That's incredible. A lot of oil, olive oil, and peppers and olives. It gives it a little like Italian flair, you can tell. Mmm. Solid sandwich, man. Definitely recommend coming here. All right, so we're walking the French Quarter. And of course, we're in freaking New Orleans, so we had to stop for a freaking frozen jack green drink, man. I mean, yo, cheers. And of course, we had to get some gumbo. And it's amazing. Oh my god, I can't even wait. Can I get the gumbo? I think this gumbo goes in. I think it is very good. You can definitely tell that, uh, you know, the comparisons to jambalaya are there, but I think uh, comparing it to lentils. We're here in New Orleans with my boy Lloyd. Hey! Yo, we got a local on our team now, and uh, Ricky's here too. Yo. Yo, what are the spots to go to? Where are we oh, headed? The container laws, yeah. for one. That's amazing. <laughs> so I recommend that you come to New Orleans for that alone. Yeah, bro, that's the thing. Yeah. Alright, last restaurant in New Orleans, and we had to pick Poseidon's Oyster. And we got soft shell crabs, man, and so much oh, man, it's our last meal guys last meal in New Orleans what you guys think this guy he's too hungry to even talk <laughs> peace out New Orleans <laughs> all right we are here at Daisy Dukes again it's like 6 a.m. so we're getting breakfast of course, for our last meal, we have to get 
oyster po boy. And oh my god, I'm, I'm so excited to eat this. looks so amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna check this out and uh, get back to you. All right, and there you have it, man. New Orleans food vlog tour all completed. Pretty sure we hit all the big menu items. You know, we got everything that was important. And I'm telling you, man, Louisiana has some of the best flavors around. Super savory, super rich. Definitely couldn't eat like this all the time, but a little bit of spice here and there and everything. But yeah, man, I would say my favorite had to be either gumbo or jambalaya, you know. Other than that, everything else was pretty solid, you know. Didn't have a bad meal here, so pretty grateful for that, you know. Hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned for more food vlogs in the future, and yeah, till next time. Thank you.